Hey everyone, so I finally broke down and got myself a plasma screen TV. And no, this is not a plasma screen, as cool as Michael Scott's $200 plasma screen TV. I am excited to be unboxing the Bamboo Lab X1 series with the multi-material extruder combo today. So I have gone through Prusa's, Wanhaus, Ultimakers, Ray's 3D, Form Labs, Prusa Mini, Creality, Ender. Uh, use a bit of everything, have not had the chance to use a Bamboo Labs 3D printer yet, so I'm excited to unbox this and see what we can get from it. So next I'll talk about the MMU, uh, really nice solid enclosed chamber. It's got locking tabs on both sides here, so this isn't going anywhere. It stays nice and locked in place. And it's a very airtight seal, so your filament's not gonna be worried about getting dried out. When you close this, you can almost hear the air escaping from that. This is a very locked in system. Uh, the chamber is extremely, well designed also. Uh, there's some weight sensors in here that you can use with the AMS to detect how much weight you have left in the material, which you can use to help predict some of your prints. Uh, and it's just overall a great storage system so you don't even need to worry about putting a lot of extra filament into plastic bags with the little dry packets that uh, they usually come with. So very happy with the system overall. All right, let's take a look at the interface here. So we have the home screen, it's got Wi-Fi connectivity, it's got the light on and off on the inside of the chamber. If we go to the settings, we have all of the nozzle settings. You can adjust the X or Y position of the print head. There's bed temperature, nozzle temperature, chamber temperature, uh, which is a nice feature. We've got the bed quick up or quick down. Uh, really nice that uh, there's lots of prompts all throughout the home screen. And as you do basically anything, uh, you can increase or decrease the extruder and purge some filament if you need. Uh, you can go to some of the files. It has a bunch of files preloaded uh, onto the Bamboo Labs printer already. It's got some settings. So there's a bunch of general settings. We've got an SD card put into here for video recording, which is awesome. I love that there's a video camera already hooked up into the Bamboo Labs. Uh, and it can also connect to your phone and your computer so you can watch and monitor this from anywhere, which is a fantastic feature. Uh, it's got suggested maintenance, which is fantastic. It's already got some suggested things to do, which is the uh, clearance of the carbon rods and the lubrication of the lead screws, which is what I'll have to do uh, here in a little bit. And then it's got some few uh, a few self tests here just to make sure everything's working perfectly. So overall, the, the touch screen is is very, very nice feature. Uh, you can move it up and down. It's very clean. Uh, and I'm, I'm a big fan personally. All right, so we've got the first print complete here. Let's take it off the build plate. See how it looks. For a 0.2 layer height and taking under two hours, I'd say the quality looks fantastic. Like usually on the Perusa, this would take, I would say probably close to four hours, give or take. Uh, it's a nice, fun, functional print. Good first print for a 3D printer, I would say. All right, so overall setup and first prints with the Bamboo Labs, very, very happy with it. Biggest takeaway for me is the speed is phenomenal. You know when a printer has a ludicrous mode, it means business, and this one surely does. I haven't tried out the ludicrous mode yet, but even the standard mode was extremely, extremely quick. So I'm looking forward to see what the capabilities are. Uh, I loved the Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, I'm enjoying watching prints from the phone or computer. Uh, you have the ability to pause and manage the queue through your computer, which is fantastic. 
Uh, definitely looking forward to getting some products going with the AMS. It seems like a very powerful tool uh, and I love all the features that it has as part of it. So in any case, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. It keeps me motivated to make videos like this and keep doing projects in the future. Thanks for watching.